Yeah, e exhausted was a word that someone used today, you know, after cleaning up from the storm over the weekend. And then as you look here, you know, we have, I'm in a, a big pile of snow and then right over here is, you know, a sidewalk under there, but it's not plowed and there's really nowhere to put all of the snow. So the big concern now, as they expect round two, is what are they gonna do with the new snowfall? Well, I spoke with uh, residents and crews about how they're preparing for that. We're gonna have to do it again. We, you know, from the weather, we're gonna be doing this all week long. Michael Tremba and Lauren Faison are doing what many of you have been doing, shoveling out in West Seneca, something they say they are used to by now. So what are you doing out here today? Oh, trying to get the cars out. I just took mine out and got stuck in the mine street. Was out already. <laughs> Thank God the nice neighbors helped me. I couldn't do it myself. Unbelievable. Yeah, he came right. with a heavy-duty snowblower. Yeah. Well, then you look and you're, where do you put the snow? Exactly. We're pretty packed over here. Yeah, and our street hasn't been done. They're usually pretty good about doing our street. They haven't done them today. Yeah, they've been busy. Oh, yeah, God, right? yeah. Brian Adams, superintendent of highways for West Seneca, says his crews have been very busy trying to keep up. All right, so here we go again. Yep, can't wait. We're uh, definitely prepared for it. Our big thing is now just trying to clear the roadways, make some room for the potential three more feet that are coming. He says if you are not comfortable driving in the snow, stay home. Even if there's not a driving ban, um, that makes our job a, a lot harder when vehicles get stuck in the side of the road and our plows have to try and maneuver around them. Town Supervisor Gary Dixon tells me he doesn't think there should be a travel ban this time around, but... But if there is a travel ban, I would really encourage that the uh, private snow plow people that do residential and commercial properties be exempt and so they can do their work. And you want residents to, as always, be patient because there's a lot of snow and nowhere to put it. There's a lot of snow, there's nowhere to put it. You know, we, West Seneca has an excellent highway department, but you know, nobody in the world can clear that much snow when it's coming down you know, four or five inches an hour. Michael and Lauren say they have been shoveling often to keep up with the snowfall. This is what we do. I've been in South Buffalo my whole life. This is like a full-time job doing this, isn't oh, it? Oh, Lord. Yeah, it yes. is. Yes. Yeah, it is. And then it's supposed to get it, come again tonight. Perfect <laughs> headline. Snow, 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 and more snow. And that's how it goes in Buffalo. We it's, can make a poem. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and they still have a good attitude about all of this. I want to talk about what we saw today because uh, crews and officials want you to be aware that, as you know, if you've lived here for a long time, the weather can change within a matter of minutes. We were driving along. We saw a car off the road. There was very low visibility. And then in an hour after that, because we spent a lot of time out here in West Seneca and the South Towns, uh, the sun came out. So you just have to be prepared for anything, as you know.